All right, it is 9.29 a.m., 4.28.21, and the watch lists are pretty much the same as the other day. At least in the afternoon, some things are changed from the morning. I do have some different stocks, but it's going to be pretty much the same setups. I think LTNC has some kind of news, so I'll be watching that. Other than that, it's just going to be the same morning panic setups in the morning and for up trading stocks. Maybe dips under VWAP, the VWAP triangle, inverse head and shoulders, confirmed breakout, stuff like that. So, yeah, but right now, nothing but morning panics. All right, it is uh, 9.38 a.m. We do have a few morning panics, but they are very, very, uh, the volume is crap, like really bad. So I haven't traded any of them. This one I kind of missed because I was looking at WTII. And this one is just has a huge seller at 34. It's still there, and there is just very little volume trading. The drop was very. Uh, it wasn't too gradual, but it was a little. It could totally reverse at some point right now, but you know I'm gonna play it a bit cautiously because it's not a stock that's been up, at least in my mind, a nice amount of days for this type of setup. AITX haven't really seen it doesn't look like I want to trade it right now it looks like it doesn't have much volume either GVSI is a choppy mess GGII this one's up trending that's nice R ETC is looking a bit strange I'll be watching this one LTNC is up on that news and yeah PJET it is doing it at 106 it did drop as low as 91 I missed this one because I was watching WTII but this one didn't even trade that nice either we did have that max volume candle drop right there so this one would have been more ideal I think in the future if I see one and it's just too gradual the volume isn't that nice you know just call it off I mean let's just see you know 500k so let me get my calculator right I mean sixteen thousand dollars of trading volume there that's nothing. Volume is really bad. I'm going to demult this one. PJET probably should have looked at this one more because it just has better volume if you ask me, but it's not really that nice either. It's just going to be a watch for now on. I don't see any true setups, but I'll be I'll be looking. All right, it's 9:53 a.m. Just want to make a quick update over all the stocks. PJET so it did do that drop right and it did do that bounce but it's a choppy mess volume isn't good but it was a lot better again than WTII which was pretty bad volume it looks like it was ultimately a starter step and that one candle of spiking and that was about it so just not good right now AITX did a better one but this is a bit choppy too so I don't know if I would have traded it even if I had seen it I think last time I saw it it was up trending in the other recording, GVSI, it's doing an uptrend, but there's nothing I really want to trade. Maybe if it does the inverse hand and shoulders above VWAP, I don't know. GGII actually was gonna wasn't gonna buy it, but I was much closer to buying. I did have the order entry, just didn't pull the trigger. So my idea here was not necessarily it dropping below VWAP to buy, but maybe holding VWAP, and that's what it did here. I was just too slow for it because it just had a big green candle but as you see the price action it later had a big red candle small green green red it's just choppy so I would already be out of this stock by now it's just a choppy mess right here RETC nothing I want to trade also didn't want to consider this for a morning panic although I did the other day just because it broke this level and it's just not looking so good it's just looking a bit you know iffy it wasn't very clean it was very ugly LTNC went for a downtrend it did reverse again this is choppy so I'm not trading choppy I'm not buying choppy maybe short it <laughs> if I had a short account but yeah I don't, I don't like this price action so I, I don't have any setups that I'm interested in trading I'm just gonna continue looking Okay, it is 10.14 a.m. I did try. I didn't get executed and I canceled the order too because a big seller appeared on the ask. I gave it a chance to get executed though and it didn't happen. I tried buying 5,000 shares, just a tiny 
what is it like a hundred dollar position right at 1008 so why I was a bit late to it I didn't see it until later but this is like that first dip under VWAP setup and this is it the stocks up 50% on the day pretty nice had that dip here remember this choppy mess I tried you know I didn't try but I considered buying around here because it was holding it but then it had this chopping action and it finally dropped right so again just saw it a bit late but I considered buying and I just didn't get executed it eventually did it I mean it got as high as 27.8 from 25.9 so not much range I think just under 10% but it could be worse I don't see any other setups other than AITX but it's a bit ugly would have considered this one for a first dip under VWAP by 2 I don't count this again because this is morning panic action but I don't know it's not up very much it could still work but again this thing is not very it looks volatile but the range isn't much so like here 96 cents to you know 10 103 whatever you want to call it it's just not much range even though you see all this you know movement so nothing I want to trade GVSI I will consider for a first dip under VWAP buy but this thing is overextended if it happens to drop all the way and gets below VWAP right now that would be pretty bad I would not buy that VWAP would have to catch up a bit more with this or maybe this guy can consolidate there you know bringing the VWAP higher so that it could do that maybe other than that I don't have any other setups that I'm too interested in it's just gonna be a watch all right, it is 10:47 a.m. GVSI. I considered it for a cup and handle, so here's a cup handle. It still might do it, but I wanted it to be at a higher level, and uh, maybe it's trying to hold itself now. But I probably won't be too interested in this anymore. I just don't. I don't know. I just wanted it to be a bit of a smaller handle. It could work, but. I'll make an update and see if that one eventually works out. GGII did do another one of these, um, you know, dips below VWAP, and this one was a higher low from here, so that's a pretty good thing. And I just didn't want to trade it because I like the first one. This could still be that VWAP triangle thing where it kind of dips now towards VWAP, it holds, and then it uptrends. But I have to take into consideration this one as well as GVSI how up they are like they're up a lot of days in a row so it is kinda sketchy to buy stock right at its very highs like that IGEX is a new one I added nothing I wanna trade off of it nothing really I guess a confirmed breakout cause it broke past it dipped a few times but these were just wicks and then it continued to uptrend to 42 and now it's at 37 not really too ideal actually but could be worse. LTNC doesn't look nice. PJET doesn't look nice either. RETC is turning around, but I just don't like it because, you know, it's downtrended a bunch. 70 is a major level of resistance, so no trades right now. I'll keep looking at GGII, GVSI, and see if this one works. Maybe it just was a bit larger than I thought. If so, that won't be bad. I'll just learn from it, but no setups right now. All right, it is 12:42 p.m. Um, I think a little after the last recording. I actually took a nap. I've been sleeping kind of late recently, just working on my uh, my main business, and you know, it's uh, I took a I took a nap. I didn't know how long it would be. I actually ended up sleeping for two hours, so a little less than two hours. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a recap over all these stocks, and this is a new one. BSPR is doing a nice uptrend first day so this could be a potential warning panic set up tomorrow or it can continue the run who knows uh, ideally it could continue the run and I can you know keep learning on uptrending stock setups so nothing I want to trade off of this right now if it were to settle down a little and look nice towards I'd say three o'clock onwards maybe it can be a nice you know buy and sell into the market close GGII is looking not too bad this is the kind of pattern I would want to see on the stock at 3 p.m. that could make a nice run towards the end of the day unfortunately for this one it's just up too many days for me to want to consider a setup like that I don't think we're really in the market where I could you know consider buying something like that and it will still be profitable towards the end of the day 
GBSI, nothing I want to trade right now. It's just kind of like GGII, very similar. IGEX is another first day runner. Maybe a confirmed breakout setup if it drops back to 40 and holds 40. That wouldn't be too bad. That could be just a cheeky small position trade just to learn from that type of setup. PJET is nothing I want to trade either. It's just it's just a bit of liquid. Same with RETC. Really just looking forward to BPSR. This is a strong runner and IGEX. Maybe for a potential end of day setups. If I don't make any videos from here on out, if I call it off right here, that means I didn't trade it or it just didn't go the way I wanted and nothing came from that or I'll just do a recap tomorrow over those setups so that's the mindset I have right now overall a good trading day I didn't get any trades but you know I think I learned a lot too and I just have to keep getting better at it I got much closer buying into those first dip under VWAP setups so I'm going to start working on other things in the meantime and I will be looking at those two stocks at the end of the day as well as anything else that might be interesting till then all right, it is uh, 5.56, the market's closed an hour ago. I had to uh, take someone to the dentist, so just want to go over the one trade I made, and it was not very long. It didn't go very well the way I wanted, not because the plan, f well, the plan failed, but not necessarily the stock, but just the general order execution. So IGEX, going with what I said previously, I wanted to potentially buy this, an hour before the market closed maybe for some kind of a run up towards the market close it didn't happen here it happened I think yesterday or the day before with another stock I forgot which one it was it, it was nice but it had just one baby dip before it did that run up and that threw me off but because I was going to the dentist and I wasn't going to be able to watch it and I liked the way this stock was trading at around uh, three o'clock so you know I wanted to do this buy right here and I did at um, you know 252 right so right about here right here 252 ish give or take and I bought at 40 which was the ask the bid was 39 it kind of you know moved a little but it wasn't it wasn't very much so tiny position okay this is like $80 my plan was to trade like eighty dollars. It was a tiny position, twenty thousand shares. You know, let's just do it right here. You know, it was a tiny, tiny position just because of the fact I wasn't gonna be there because I had to go to the dentist, right, to help take somebody to the dentist in. So I just wanted to trade a small position, just in theory, you know, if it doesn't run up towards the market close. So. What, why do it if I'm not going to be there even if you trade a small position size isn't that a bad habit that's right so what I tried to do was after I placed an order was try to put a stop loss and I tried multiple times right I have right here stop the right stock selected sell stop right at the price and everything like that I would click place order nothing would happen nothing would happen and then there's two screens if when, when I go to the other section of this platform now coming back from that visit to the uh, dentist I see that they just simply don't allow stop losses and this security for whatever reason I didn't know it was the problem I thought there was a problem maybe with the platform and then it would try to sell my like more than one position at a time or something crazy like that no it just turns out that they don't accept stop losses Schwab does not accept stop losses with this in particular so you know at the time I didn't know that was an issue but because I wasn't able to put a stop and I didn't see like an active you know stop right here order you know open I went ahead and sold at you know at the bid I bought at the ask sold at the bid if I wanted to be cheeky sure I could have tried selling you know for break even or maybe even a small profit but you know that's kind of playing with fire and my stop was like 35 so actually this thing might have actually have executed and I would have lost like four dollars max because again it's just a small tiny position just a proof of concept not because I'm trying to pay you know bills with this <laughs> with four dollars of profits and then 
you know, 40% of that goes to the IRS, so like a dollar, right? That wasn't the idea at all. The whole idea was just a proof of concept. Didn't work because I wasn't able to put a stop, and it's probably for the better to not do orders like that anyway. So that could be a good lesson in and of itself. And yeah, to just, to just get to the point, didn't work out here. It didn't do a nice run up towards the market close. It just bounced back and forth between, you know, 35 and 40, and that was about it. It didn't do a run up towards the close. So even had had I been in the you know here at the moment I probably wouldn't have probably would have maybe have considered selling into here and then maybe consider buying risking it off of 35 that could have been a nice move perhaps but that's just trading randomness I wanted a nice run up towards the market close maybe had I have still been there I would have maybe considered a buy at this dip thinking it will then run up like it did previously on that other stock but that wasn't the case so I think overall a good trade idea it didn't happen here. I wouldn't have really lost anything. Even if I put a large position, could have rebought here at 35 just because it's holding this level. Maybe it does that dip before it runs again, like the other stock. So, overall, good experience. I learned from it. I like it a lot. Um, BPSR didn't get to see it. This one did that run up towards the market close, but I was too scared of considering this one because it's just already, <coughs> excuse me, already up so much. So, you know it still happened that's very nice I mean it went from what 26 to 35 that's a lot of range I guess I just didn't pick the right stock it was between these two this one was just a bit more volatile I guess that's for the better you know when was three o'clock uh, geez yeah three o'clock so that'd be the ones right it was wait a minute <laughs> hold on I'm having a brain fart dude three 24 hour time is the ones, right? Yeah, that's that's three, excuse me, yeah, because it takes two away. Yeah, 15 is three o'clock. It did do like a small bounce. This one was much better. I just picked the wrong stock, I guess. But I can't, you know, be upset because I tried. Very nice, though. That's a nice close, a bit scary. I would have sold before you know the market closed I wouldn't want to be ready for a gap down or something like that uh, yeah GGII also did a nice run towards the close but this isn't the same because it's not a first day stock although very nice I mean why not you know give it some more days running so I can do a nice number five setup RETC not looking nice PJET not looking nice and a liquid so I'm gonna call it off overall a good trading day definitely working on more setups not just morning panics but first you know dip under VWAP buys ace you know like um, inverse head and shoulders don't want to do random like higher low setup something more specific and as, on top of that a nice close into the market you know buy and sell so I'm gonna call it off here overall a good trading day I look forward to rewatching this and yeah just another great day of learning I hope you know hope to God this can keep going and I can keep working on it